What's up everybody back to another Honkai Star Wars video and as we're recording this we have a little bit more than 11 hours left so pretty much less than 12 hours left basically until the Silver Wolf leaves. Now this is an interesting uh, I guess leaving as uh, best as I could put it because before we uh Zaylee's Banner she was I know people are gonna be like, oh, well, she's actually so much better. Yeah, yeah, I know. She's basically a single target dam damage dealer, and Jing Yun was a AoE damage dealer, right? Now, in the future, they'll probably fall off, and they'll be better AoE and single target damage dealers. It could not be. We'll have to see, right? But for the most part, they have one purpose that can easily be replaced. Now, Silver Wolf is the first character where that is not the case. Now, going forward with uh, Lucha's banner, he is the first, like, easily obtainable healer that's not natasha right um so he's kind of in a similar like place but not as much as silver wolf silver wolf has the unique ability of making any character weak to someone else on your team obviously it's you know random but it's still an insanely strong skill and I am not fully done with mine yet. I'll show you mine right now. I've been trying to get Yangqing up just so I have a nether damage dealer. So far, he's been going pretty good for the most part. I'm just getting his traces up and stuff. But so Silver Wolf, right? These are my traces on her. I got the important ones, the ult and the skill up. I'm still trying to get this one up as well. Get like the attack boost. Just pretty much like the basic stuff, right? Light cone, 80, superimposed 5. You know all that good stuff and then her relics are uh, a thing to be worked on right um her effect hit rate is of course 106 right at 100 very nice and sweet crit damage crit rate has something to be worked on but we're getting somewhere right so i'm able to actually use her another effect hit rate is actually at somewhat of a good level and i'm telling you she's fun the, the team is fun um ignore this this Team is uh my I bring a friend team so or that. Do I not have a team set for? Her? Hang on. I've only really used her in modes that aren't like the main modes. So pretty much my team is this, right? I'm sure it's a pretty generic team. Silver Wolf makes it, you know, electric. They're weak to the whole rest of the team. You know, when Ting Yin and Bai Lu have to do the basic attack, they can lower toughness. Very, very nice team. This is the team I like running. And of course, if the enemy isn't weak to um, lightning, right, it wouldn't matter, right? Because I could start the battle with good old Silver Wolf. Let me go to, like, back on pass, I guess is an okay one to go to. Pretty sure I just teleported to a place where there's no enemies nearby. So let me run around real quick. I'll grab this. So pretty much right. Okay, let's let's pray that the first enemy I run into is not weak to lightning. Okay, so like this one, he's not weak to lightning, right? So I'm like, oh, how would I start the battle? So Wolf's E, right, will pretty much make it to where they take toughness damage regardless. So she has that going for her off rip, right? Let me go ahead and turn this down a little bit just in case it's too loud. Um, it's always 50 50 with that. But her E is so strong, so this character is weak to ice when, you know, you, you get the gist, right? Boom, he's weak to lightning. Actually, just, it's so, so fun. It's so fun using her, and now I just go crazy. Of course, he took more damage because he's weak, but it's actually just such a fun, fun character. I, I like her a lot. Also, another cool thing with it, right, is if you, well, this character is probably going to die because of this. Let's say a real quantum, right? When he gets hit with that, if it's quantum, like I lose the, I think, I want to say it's a 75% chance to get uh, lightning because I have three on the team and it would randomly pick one character between Silver Wolf and the other three. But if it lands on quantum for whatever reason, right, it's still breaking the toughness at the end of the day or like at least lowering it, which is always nice. It's just, she's just a really fun character. I really like using her and I originally wasn't going to summon and she has a one of a kind you, like with her E being able to by the way that goes really far with her E being able to break enemy toughness regardless of what they're weak to as you go into a battle uh, her making enemies weak her doing her bug debuff let me open up the characters thing real quick I believe it's the talent yeah so the bugs reducing attack defense speed are super nice the ultimate reducing defense she just makes she makes 
Jin Young just look like an unstoppable best character in the game. Every time Lightning Lord attacks, everything just dies. Such a good, fun character. I recommend if you aren't summoning for Locha or you have funds available, try to get one copy. I don't think they would release a character anytime soon that has anything close to Silver Wolf. Like, there's nobody like in the betas with Kafka and Blade and other characters. Wink, wink. Um, none of them do what Silver Wolf do. They're all like healers, you know, preservation like shielders, or you know, Kafka's Nihility Blade is just like low HP, do a lot of damage, survive. He's destruction. No character does what Silver Wolf does. So, you know, best of luck if you do summon. Do you have? less than 12 hours to figure out if you want to pull or if you want to save best of luck with whatever you do very very fun character i cannot recommend this character enough and the best part is you don't need the light cone as long as you did the free event and got the free light cone that's all you really need but other than that that'll be it for the video um tomorrow's video is going to be pretty short as it's my birthday um i'll probably just go over any changes that are in star Rail for my birthday. I know you get like a cake and I think some stellar jades if I'm not mistaken. You'll see it in tomorrow's video. But anyway, thanks for watching and of course, I'll catch y'all in the next one.